Don't set this bucket in the dirt, please. Mostly, just, no, no, just because I let a little bit of epoxy get on it. No, 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 I, did. I was just setting it up here. I was just letting you guys know because it's wet. Okay. It wouldn't be a big deal, but I got it wet. Here, you can keep on cutting in here too now if you want. I think we really got to keep our epoxy moving or else that's what will kind of screw us now. I'll give this back to you, Willie, if you want. I dumped some epoxy out down here and Here you are. Uh -huh. Okay, you, you let me know when I, I'm gonna start throwing sand in this square. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're good, you're good. Try to stay out of mine. Oh, you're good, I'm done Broadcasting to rejection, meaning we're gonna throw sand down. This is actually color stable quartz, um, but we're gonna throw this down until it's not soaking up into any more epoxy, meaning it's being rejected. So, kind of a, probably the strongest way to do an outdoor coating into this ultra flex epoxy coating, which is incredible for old damaged concrete. It's looking pretty good, huh? That's good. That's gonna be a nice. Nice, nice job.
You guys are such a good team down there. How long have you guys worked together? Huh? They are cutting in epoxy and I'm cutting in the edges and then rolling the centers, just getting a nice even layer ready for me to broadcast our quartz into. And I'm over here looking for wet spots. If you see shiny spots or dark spots, we throw sand on it until it evens out. Kind of the trick of this. That looks pretty good. I don't want to get too close to where they're working. So I'll start cutting in. You pour me a good a one. Yeah, you pour me a good pile and I'll just push it. Yeah, and I mean this is going to be thicker than what we did yesterday a little naturally if we're not careful because it just soaks into the, oh yeah that's perfect for that area. I'll be able to make that work. If it's too much I'll push it, if not I'll stop and get more. Hey, I touched the corner of the trim right here. Right there on the corner. a mess. Oh, whoops, shit. Maybe give me a little space here, cause I'm, I'm not on. No, no, I'm not on spikes, so don't pour anymore, please. I'm trying to. No, no, no. You're fine. I just we're really pouring me in here. You know, we're, we should be able to go about 80 square feet per gallon, and we're definitely, we're going about 40, 50 square feet per gallon. This right here is probably thicker than what we just did over here. Yeah. Oh, no, you're good. I'm just moving it. And that's what the goal of cross rolling, you can go into that wet area, you don't need to always pour epoxy on because you go there and you take and you dry your roller out over here. Then I'll dip back into the wet areas. Do you need that up there? Uh, no, no, no. Here, watch out behind you. I'll leave it right there.
Yeah, I don't know if you can see on camera how it has kind of an uneven sheen until you go back over it a few times and really help lay it down. That's super important because however even this epoxy is, that's how even it'll soak up into the sand. If it's a rough unla la uneven layer of epoxy, it'll be a rough uneven layer of sand. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little heavy here, but it's good. A little, you know what? It's better to be a little heavy and be even than have a splotchy spot because one little mist area is going to be a big deal. Like right there, there was a area out there that's still dry, but so we definitely want to make sure we. And there, it's good. Yeah, you can keep pouring it out now in little splotches. Just try to leave there. I'd rather a few bigger puddles that I can work so I can walk around a little so I'm not stuck on it. This here, I'll give you guys this. You guys can finish cutting in and everything. You guys are doing a good job at that. I'll give you this roller whenever you want. Hey, let's go over, come over here and cross roll on spikes if we can. This is where I needed to finish and I didn't. Hey, do you mind cross rolling over? Oh, finish there for, you're fine. I just have a pretty bad spot here that I need. There's big puddles and really dry spots over there. Right here, yeah, yeah. That's where I was working. Yeah, I think if you cross roll from here back out, I'll. Once like this and then one long way. Don't yeah, don't go that. You don't need to go that way anymore, though, because we'll get into that sand.
remember that'll spin that that'll splatter if it's towards the house like that fast so we got to watch out wait and do you guys see actually do you guys see how wet that side is right there do you see all the sand stuck to that wall look at this charles do you see the sand stuck to that black there that's all splashed from whatever we're doing and not cleaned off. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. I was trying, I was trying to, uh, we'll see, it might be better down here, but we'll just, we'll have to remember this and we'll, and we'll come back and we'll clean this. And if we have to, we'll spray it. We'll yeah, have to. And it cleaned right up. I, I cleaned all that over there. While it was wet? No, no. While it was dry? Oh yeah, it cleaned right up. I sprayed a little alcohol on it and then I took the little rubber Scraper? Part. Yeah, the little rubber part so it wouldn't scratch it. Okay. Yeah, and it cleaned right oh, up. Oh, good. Okay. Then we'll just clean this up. It's not yeah, a big I deal. The whole, I cleaned that whole perimeter. I, am a, I was going to start cleaning the concrete off, but I thought, well, that ain't our job. Oh, no, that's perfect. Thank you. I think that's it. Down here. Oh, here, Willie. Really bad through there. Yeah, you see, it's totally dry here. That's like dry dry and there's a puddle so cross roll this across here no i think we're good we just need even what we have yeah go into that gap there there's a lot in that there you are Don't go too far over here because I got sand on this edge here. You're good, don't, don't go that far anymore. This was the area that was bad. Yeah. I think you got it pretty good now. Yeah, that's really nice. Perfect. See how much faster this broadcast, Charles? We'll throw it out of buckets. And... Well, we're putting down quite a bit less too now. So yeah, and it's getting more even. A lot of that epoxy soaked into what's underneath it. So this will be a really strong layer. Now this will be very durable. That's a way thicker coating than... I mean, it's, a, it's not bad to do it. A, a a double broadcast isn't bad. It's just going to be that much more even and beautiful looking. <laughs> yeah, I just had the, those patchy, the patchy areas are all that. That's cool. I think we're ahead right now. We still got to look at What's that? I said, I, I, every customer I talked to when I was doing the aeration, hey, Levi, Diamond Coat Epoxy. That's... Oh, he's a great guy. Oh, I know him, man. I'm on there. I said, oh, good. Oh, you and met I people that knew? some that are going to buy some product from you, too. That's so I cool. Said, you can do it yourself. Just take a class, and then you can get the product and do it. And oh, yeah. That's You're the best salesman. <laughs> hey, Willie, it's weird, but there's one bald spot straight through here, and I only see it from the right reflection. It's a lot different with polarized glasses than not. I just looked over these. That helps, huh? That's a thousand times different having those. Now your spike marks. See your spike marks? As long as you cross roll them back out, you're good. There, you're good. I think that'll be perfect.
You know it's a small world if people know me. In a real weird world. I don't know. A couple hundred thousand maybe, I don't know. I think our channel though, like people end up knowing me, but they're really there for the product and the, it's cause it's instructional, you know? So, I mean, we have like 500 and some on our TikTok and like a hundred on our YouTube. That's about the only real, I don't really know if we have like Facebook. Two hundred and something on Facebook. Yeah, so we probably have a million together or something. I don't know. Has all this sand been cleaned? Yeah. That's all been cleaned? Oh yeah, we ran it through the... Perfect. More sand than we have buckets. I'll be buying like 30 more of those. <laughs> Say what? It was the process of this sand. This is the sand that we vacuumed up into bags off of the top from the first broadcast and then we ran it through a screen so we can rebroadcast it same exact product um, just another layer so you can always reuse this I'd rather scrape those little few chunks off with a flat blade tomorrow because we'll, it's the sand and you won't even see it there. But if I was to go out and reach and grab it right now, there's a good chance you'd see a little disrupted spot.
Good job on that edge. No. It'll be good. You'll put that dirt back. This is going to look really nice. It'll make the whole thing look so finished. Uh-huh. I just like to try to kind of make it look... Yeah, just right up to the edge, make it look nice. I always try to make my job area look a little better than when I showed up. Then they're happy with everything you do. That's smart. It's a good way to live. Uh-oh. Oh, see, inner tube it or something? Well, I got you. Oh really? Getting trashed. That's pretty cool that you did that. Just look for dark or wet areas, that's all. No, I, I was trying to fix this spot. I'd kind of messed it up. I think we're good. No need to throw any more. That's, I think now we'll just put all the buck, we'll bring all the buckets, throw them in the truck. We'll pick all the sandbags and throw them in buckets. Load everything up, take all the trash back up to the front area. Tomorrow, we can back all our sand again and then anything like this, we'll be spraying the urethane on. And I think right now I'm gonna spray the driveway. I'll spray that little pad you did. Um, and then we'll probably just, as soon as we're done with that, We'll do this to the back patio. Oh, to the back one, okay. Yeah. I'll load these up, Levi. Oh. Are we gonna need these? Or? Okay.